I think when I was growing up, I used to read a lot of novels, like The Lord of the Rings, and kings and queens, they seemed very glamorous, but as I got older, I discovered it wasn't really like that. You know, a lot of people, they see, I think the monarchy is something that binds us to our history, but what is that history? Centuries ago, we were all serfs, we had no human rights, and that's why we have a monarchy, you know, because we had no rights, and they managed to cling on to a role, and to me, it very much is about, you know, teaching us that inequality is natural, even glorious. You know, to look up to our betters, it you know, treats us, it teaches us a culture of deference. So that's why we wanted to really oppose the monarchy. And we also think, it's not often talked about, but in a constitutional crisis, the monarchy have all kinds of reserve powers that they could use. And we think if there was such a national crisis, would they resolve it in the favor of the people or in favor of the establishment? And obviously they're establishment families, so that's very dangerous too.